Welcome to 2018 indie game fans and gamers of all ages. If you're looking for an indie game to pick up in January 2018, I have got eight for you that you might want to keep an eye on this month. Um, in the list you've got all the January 2018 indie game releases that we at My Games Lounge think are worth watching this month and please watch all the way through to the end of the video to see all the games in release order. There's also an article to accompany this on mygameslounge.com so if you get yourself in the description on YouTube you've got a link to it there as well as some information. If you're on My Games Lounge already just scroll down, there's tons of information on these games there for you along with some videos. Um, don't miss the other video and article as well which is on the, the main publisher games this month for January 2018 video game releases. But right now we're going to go head straight into the indie game world with some really cool games. Get ready to pick your favourite and put it in the comments. First up we have got a game from the guys at Team17 and Mouldy Tooth Studios. I do love indie game studios names, they're always really cool. But this is The Escapists 2. Now this is already out on other formats but from the 11th of January which is basically now you can get this on your Nintendo Switch. Yes that's right you can get yourself into the prison and start escaping from it on your Nintendo Switch and it's looking pretty cool. There's been some very positive feedback about this game on all the other formats that it's released on and if you played the first Escape it's Escapists you'll know what it's all about. It's all about getting around this kind of classic 2D style top down view and getting out of some very sticky situations as the prisoners that you play. There's some cool amendments to the game as well so you can play with a friend local co-op by using your Joy-Con controllers. It's all looking pretty cool and it might be one to pick up on the Switch. Next we have a game called Inner Space which looks very very intriguing gamers. It's by Aspire and Holly Knight Games and it's coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch and PC on the 16th of January. No excuses for formats for not picking this one up guys, it's coming to many different ones. Um, it's all about flying and exploring uh, in a world where the physics are inverted. So you're going to be exploring a set of interconnected spheres that are all inverted. Gravity is pulling away from you, you're surrounded by, by water and gravity is just doing some strange stuff. Um, it all looks quite the fun exploration game if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not sure about the controls with all that gravity pulling you in various different directions but it does look like something that would be well worth having a look at especially if you just like a bit of a relaxing game to go out and explore. Stylishly good though it looks really really cool in its art style. Heading over for some RTS action now in Forged Battalion. This one's another Team 17 published game by Pentroglyph and it's coming to the PC in Steam Early Access on January the 16th. Uh, in the game you'll be asked to manage, customise and develop blueprints of your emerging faction to create ever evolving factories and units. Um, you'll be getting resources through your battle and levelling up through skill trees and just taking on really really cool battles which look really good. As you get further on into the game you get some really cool technology too. I've got to say um, I've not played RTS for a while and this one looks particularly cool. I quite like the art style of it, I like all the colours, I like the explosions and I like that classic style. It looks like one for the RTS fans only but it certainly looks like one to pick up particularly whilst it's in early access and you can see the game's development. In at number 5 we have the interesting looking Albert and Otto in this very stylish black and white 2D platformer coming to you on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on January the 16th from K Bros Games and Digirati Distribution. Now it's already available on PC so you guys might have seen this already. This one's called The Adventure Begins. You're thrown headfirst into this haunting world in 1939 Germany in search of a mysterious girl with bunny ears. Uh, sounds like a Saturday night where I'm from to be honest, uh, but there's lots of clues scattered around this world as to who she is and where she is in the form of drawings left on post boxes and shards that the player must put together. It seems quite an intriguing one this game is. I quite like the look of it, I do like a good platformer and if you do too this might be one to check out as it comes to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. 
Next up we have a game by the team that brought us Rogue Legacy, but this time it's called Full Metal Furies. It's coming to us from Celador Games onto the Xbox One and PC, but the Xbox One code will give you full access to play anywhere. It will arrive on January the 17th and it's looking pretty cool. Uh, it's an RPG action brawler for up to four players. The brawler formula is outdated, so what they decided to do is add some arcade machine type elements to the game. It's an, a bit of a beat em up. There's a lot of mixing of genres going on in this and nothing sacred as far as the developers are concerned. Um, so it's looking quite interesting with some RPG trees as well for developing your characters. We've actually got a copy of this and David came, Game is playing it right now and hoping to bring you some coverage on it ahead of the review on the 17th. As we head towards the end of the month, in at 3 we've got an interesting cyberpunk style 2D pixel arty game called The Red Strings Club, which is being published by Devolver Digital and, if I can say this properly, Deconstruct Team are the developers. It will arrive on PC on January the 22nd and it's a very narrative driven game based in this kind of cyberpunk universe about fate, happiness and feast featuring the extensive use of pottery, bartending and impersonating people on the phone to take down a corporate conspiracy. It all sounds kind of cyberpunky and very interesting. I really like the visuals on this one, gamers. And personally speaking, I think story in video games is one of those things that can really drive on again, even if the gameplay isn't quite as good as some of the other elements of the game would be normally. This one seems interesting. Keep an eye on it. I like the looks of it. Next up, we've got My Time in Porsche, which is a very, very stunningly beautiful game made by the guys at Pathia and published by Team 17. It's coming to PC via Steam Early Access on the 23rd of January, and the guys are promising when this one's fully developed, it should hit consoles as well. Now, it's a sandbox RPG simulation where you're going to be gathering materials and setting sail for this wonderful town called Porsche at the edge of civilization, and you're going to find a workshop and help to develop the lives of the people in this village. It all looks really nice and really engaging and certainly quite addictive. Um, it stands out to me as a particular one to have a look at in early access guys. It could be really really engaging. There's some nice art, art styles and the gameplay could be really really fun. Certainly one to watch for the future as well. The final game on the list is the last release of the month and it's coming to you from the developers at Coatsync and Secret Lunch who have made Shoe. Now Shoe's been out for a while on the other formats but it's finally coming to the Nintendo Switch and it suits the Nintendo Switch perfectly. You'll be able to play it from the 23rd of January and I personally reviewed this game on my games now and could not put it down. Um, it's beautiful, it, it's a wonderful platformer that brings classic ideas, but it's just such a, a wonderful game to play. Everything's hand-drawn in there, the colours just jump out of the screen at you. You can jump, you can glide, you work with your friends to get across certain sections as you avoid the uh, rather purple wind monster coming to get you. Um, everything about this game is just really, really enjoyable. It's short and sweet, but it's certainly one to really consider if you've got a Nintendo Switch and you want to get some indie game action. That's the end of the list gamers, thank you for watching. Please do think about which one is your favourite game and drop that in the comments either on mygameslounge.com or on YouTube. Which one did you like the most? Also please, if you enjoyed the video on the YouTube channel, please like, subscribe and share this around and visit us at mygameslounge.com.